Daniil, congratulations. You came out of the blocks very quickly in this match, played nearly flawlessly the first two sets. You had an early break in the third, then he turned his game on. He brought the crowd with him. What was the third set like for you? How did you finally get this thing over in three sets? Uh, definitely not easy because, uh, first of all, we saw the match with Rafa was kind of the same score in first two sets. Uh, third set, Rafa was dominating but didn't manage to win the match. So. I got a little bit scared, I should say, and tight because it's a semi-final of a slam and, I mean, for us, uh, it's not, uh, I don't know, 50s like for, for Novak or Roger, so it was not easy, but uh, I'm happy that I managed to turn my game on, uh, uh, especially in some tight moments on my serve and uh, really happy to be in the final. When you get scared in a match, what do you do? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I, I'll, I'll repeat it. You said you got scared. What do you do when you get scared? How do you react to that normally? I mean, to be honest, I cannot really answer. I just try to hit aces and winners, I mean, uh, or put the ball in the court. Uh, that's uh, the only way to do. I remember I had 30-40 in the game uh, when he was up already. I think it was 4-3. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, uh, the only chance I had is to serve a big serve and I made an ace so that uh, uh, that's how I stayed in the match. Uh, for sure, don't know if it will be first set, uh, how it's going to go, but I'm happy to, to manage to keep my nerves, you know, because uh, still I didn't make uh, so many bad choices except uh, for the game I got broken with double forward and some easy forehand mistakes. So uh, happy that I managed to, to keep my calm still. One of the things that we noticed watching was that you really dominated the long rallies in these points. That's a big part of your game. You're amazing at these long rallies. Given that you saw that he played Rafa in that long match and spent so much energy, mental and physical energy, was that part of your strategy to try and play longer points tonight? I mean, it depends because uh, still I saw the statistics and actually I was dominating in winners. I think, yeah, for sure he was tired uh, after the match with Rafa, which uh, we couldn't see actually uh, during the match with Rafa. I thought he was, uh, he was looking quite uh, fresh, so I was even surprised. Uh, but uh, yeah, during today's match, I saw that as soon as I was moving him around the court, it was not easy for him. So as soon as I saw it in the first set, that became my strategy straight away. Yeah, you're, you're on an amazing run right now. It continues. <laughs> Starting in the Paris Indoor Tournament in the last November, you've not lost. This is your fourth tournament. You're into your fourth final. Let me just tell you, 20 wins in a row, 11 against top 10 players. That's just insane. What, what's the difference between this streak and then the tournaments before where you were doing okay but not beating everyone? To be honest, I don't have a, an answer. I was just working hard for it all my life and I'm really happy at this moment uh, just, you know, because uh, it's going to stay with me uh, when I'm going to be maybe on, uh, as you uh, as old as me. interviewing don't, someone. Don't rush it. <laughs> Take your time, my friend. Believe me, you don't want to get here yet. Be patient. <laughs> Interviewing someone, I'm going to have this, you know, in my record book, not uh, in the record books of tennis because we have Novak, Roger, and they have a lot of wins. But uh, at least uh, for me, it's a great achievement. And I mean, to be honest, before Paris Percy, I was feeling horrible um, in my tennis. I was uh, losing some tight matches where I didn't feel my game on top. And I think, yeah, with just uh, hard work, I managed to turn it on. Uh, so far, uh, it doesn't turn off. Uh, hopefully, I can keep the momentum going a little bit. Yeah, well, you're into your second major final. Your first major final, you were on a great run as well. You lost an epic five-setter to Rafael Nadal. And I want to ask you, what did you learn from that match that might help you in your second final here on Sunday night? I took a lot of experience. It's not that you can learn, OK, I should have played back and down the line on the 5-4 and the break point or something. But uh, it's experience. Uh, to the, it was my first Grand Slam final against one of the greatest. Uh, on Sunday, I'm going to come uh, against one of the other greatest. So <laughs> um, just, uh, yeah, that I played against Rafa in this US Open crazy match. Is experience that maybe if we're going to have some crazy match and can turn some things for me and not against me, and we're going to see Sunday, we cannot know before the match was going to happen. Yeah, well, one of those, one of those 11 people, one of those 11 top 10 wins was against Novak. You beat him in the tour finals in London, so you, that should give confidence, you would think. What's going to be the key or the, the keys for you to win your first major title? 
First of all, I like that I don't have a lot of pressure because he never lost uh, <laughs> in, nine, in eight times that he was here in the final. So uh, it's him who has uh, all the pressure, you know, uh, getting uh, to Roger, Rafa in the Grand Slam. So I just hope that I'm going to get out there, show uh, my best tennis. As we, as we see, I can win uh, some big names if I play good. So that's the main uh, part. And after... Uh, yeah, as I say, he has uh, for sure more experience, but uh, more things to lose. And well, congratulations. We cannot wait for Sunday night. Thanks a lot, Daniel Medvedev. What a run he is on. He's into the final.